You are the last electric knight. I give to you my power and my knowledge. You must carry on, but not alone. I have chosen this man. Hey, what's the point in having a secret ballot if you're going to tell her you won? So I guess that makes you vice president and you treasurer, right? Okay, well, now that we've got the club, what does the club do? Well, it's a secret club. It's a se we keep secrets. Why? Nobody cares about what we do anyway. Well, yeah, but it's a secret club. Th that's the whole point in having a club. See, we can still go to the parks with the metal detectors and stuff. It's just now we can't tell anybody where we're going. Hi, Ernie. What are you guys up to, huh? Nothing. Oh. Now, you know that chili supper I was making for you tonight? You mind taking a rain check? Captain Black's asked me to come into work. Travis, I called your mom. She said the three of you could come over there for dinner. She's having hot dogs, okay? Great. All right. All right. Well, maybe we could have your special chili some other time, Mr. Rizzo. Sure. Uh, what are you guys doing? Having an election, huh? Starting a club? It's a secret club. Oh, excuse me. I, I didn't see a thing. Ernie, I'll pick you up after dinner. See you later. Bye. There, you hear that? That sounds good. I know it. It is. It's just a chain of paper clips. Who leave that out in the park? That's sick. Let's go over there. There's something shining near that rock. Maybe it's a ring. I'll bet it isn't. All we found are bottle caps and pop tops. Hey, maybe it's a key to a safe. 
Santa Claus box full of money. Then I'll take care of it. I was just elected treasurer, wasn't I? I bet there's a big reward for finding this. It says Iggy's Bolorama. I bet you it's a key to a locker. Hey, I think we ought to check it out. I mean, a key to a bowling alley is the perfect place to hide a lot of cash. Come on, Travis. It's probably just full of some guy's dirty socks. And those ugly shoes with numbers on the back. Well, I think we should go and return the key. Come on. Rizzo, Mooney, come in, please. Go ahead. Unit 17 found a man locked in the trunk of a car at 15th and Marshall. They requested your assistance. Assistance? Getting a man out of a trunk? Can you clarify, please? They've made a tentative ID, and they think it's Mosley, that bag man from Phoenix. Well, they were right. It is Mosley. Looks much better in his FBI shots, though. Yeah, well, they didn't throw him into the trunk of a car before they took his picture. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm Detective Sergeant Rizzo, and this... Sergeant Mooney? More cops. Great. What's the SWAT team coming in? Uh, Any time, I guess, but... Meantime, we were just curious as to, uh... How you managed to get locked in the trunk of your car. It was an accident. I could've got myself out. Oh, sure you could. Look, we know who you are. You're a bag man for the Phoenix Mob. You know, that's an ugly word. Oh, really? Which one? Bag man, mob, or Phoenix? Come on, Mosley. I don't suppose you were bringing the uh, money from yesterday's bank job into our fair city, were you? Come on. You were hijacked, weren't you? Some bad guys came along and stole all your money and threw you in the trunk of that car, didn't they? You wouldn't want them to tell us who did it, would you? Hmm? Look, buddy. I crawled into the back of my car to get my lug wrench. And some jerk must have come along and closed the lid. Makes sense to me. Unless it was a dog. The dog would have jumped on it, and that would have done it. The dog. In that case, I'm going to have to ask you to come down to the station with us. What for? We need a report on the dog. You hadn't mentioned the dog. Oh, excuse me. Tracy, what are you doing here? I stopped by the station and told me where you were. Jake, Mrs. Niedermeyer's home visit to evaluate Ernie's environment. How could you forget? I forget it's Saturday. Saturday? It is Saturday. Well, it didn't feel like Saturday because I have to work. Well, do you work all day? Yeah. Okay, I'll tell you what. If it's all right with you, I'll walk Mrs. Niedermeyer through the apartment. It is clean, right? Sure, it's clean. Well, it's, it's kind of clean. I was making a pot of chili for the kids when they called me into work. Okay. Give me the key, and I'll try to stop by early and straighten up before I bring her in. All right. Thanks, Patricia. How are you one? Without a key, how are we going to find even the right locker? We'll find it. For a half a million, I'll open them all with my face. I just hope Mosley didn't lie about where he hid it. Stop worrying all the time. If it's not here, we'll just go back, open the trunk, and ask him again. Hey, look, the counter is automatic. The machine doesn't lie. It doesn't even know you. Those were practice frames. Practice frames? 34 practice frames? It'd be cheaper to take lessons. Hey, I don't care about what lessons. What do you want, kid? Well, I found one of the keys to your lockers. I thought I should return it. I don't care what your automatic counter says. I ain't paying. Hey. Uh, about the key. I'm going to time that kid. Put it in the locker. Well, he said we could open it, so let's go open it. Great, I was afraid we wouldn't find out whose key it was. And we wouldn't get a reward. It says it's my job to point these things out. Well, we'll just look in the locker for something that has a name on it. Guy at number 21, no. Nothing in there but his shoes. Lady at number 8, no. Three kids at number 25. I'm not going to believe this. It's another key. All right. That's the key to the safe deposit box full of money. It says, the money is in a locker at the airport. Key enclosed. Money, I knew it. And it's all ours. It's 
it's not ours. We have to go return this to somebody. And I'm going to the manager. I'll take that, kid. I'm calling Mr. Rizzo. When we started this club, we said we'd keep secrets. Ernie, this is our only secret. Well, I guess it wasn't a good idea. Hi, Sergeant Kramer? Yeah, this is Ernie Lee. Yeah, may I talk to Mr. Rizzo, please? Hmm. Huh. Well, do you know when he'll be back? Okay. Just tell him I called. Thanks. I can't reach him right now. Then we gotta get to the airport, get the money before we're gonna steal it. Uh, I'm not sure about this. Hey, we said we'd vote on everything, right? So let's vote. Okay. Well, I vote to wait. Okay. I vote that we should go to the airport, get the money, and then wait. I vote that we get the money, go out, and buy a lot of stuff. Okay. We'll go to the airport. Wait a minute. How are we supposed to get there? It's way on the other side of town. A taxi. Hey, Ernie, how much money did you got saved up? Mm, about $30. But I was saving to buy Mr. Rizzo a portable vacuum for his birthday. Oh, come on, Ernie. In an hour, we'll be splitting a jillion dollars. You do it. I have to write Mr. Rizzo a note.
after Mr. Rizzo I went to the airport? It's all too complicated to explain. Please don't be mad. It's something I have to do. Oh, my God, Ernie's run away. Yeah, uh, Sergeant Rizzo, please. It's Patricia Blake. It's very important. Okay, tell him, um... T tell him... Just tell him I'll talk to him later. Uh, excuse me, sir, but do you think you could go a little bit faster? Take a look around, kid. You see any cars speeding around here? Maybe you ought to think about another line of work. Then you're where are you going to be? To the worth robbing? I said they might kill you. Sit in over there. Look, I don't know what you're talking about. It's like I told you. A dog jumped up on my car, the trunk locked. Yeah, and you crawled in there in the first place to get a wrench to rotate the tires on a rented car, right? Well, maybe I just wanted to make it nice for the next day. Quiet down there. I don't want to look at any mug shots. I don't want to file any complaints. I want you out there looking for those guys. Dumped up my lane. They jammed one of my pink They scared the day like that of one of my regular customers. You're getting stranger and stranger these days. <laughs> Anything we can hold him on? No, no, nobody saw anything. They've been through the car with a fine tooth comb. No dirty money left. Whoever grabbed him must have gotten everything. I don't think so. He's not upset enough. I'll bet you he stashed the money somewhere before they caught him. We could just trace where he's been since he hit town. No, we could let him go, see if he picks up your money. Of course, he'd have a hard time driving that car. You know what happens after they use a fine tooth comb? Too bad it's a rental. Wait a minute, where do you rent the car from? Um, you borrow a rental car over on East 10th. Well, I hope they don't mind about the rocker panels in the dashboard. Each tenth, huh? He might have stashed the money in that neighborhood. Uh, we'll take a drive over there and check out the area. Come on, hurry up. Two fifty one, two fifty two. Winnie, you know where we're headed? What is this, a test? You borrow a car rental on East 10. No, no, that's not what I meant. What's two blocks away from there? What? The airport. What do you bet me that Mosley stashed the money at the airport, huh? Uh-huh. Let's get over there. kid read the note before I took it from him. What's he doing? Shh! I don't think. He's trying to figure out what to do. When other action is impossible, you must become invisible. Stay out of sight and wait here for me. Mr. Sweat.
passagers à destination de Chicago. Le départ est retardé d'une demi-heure. Nous vous informerons ultérieurement. Les passagers à destination d'Albuquerque, embarquement immédiat à la porte numéro 14. Toast to uh, my chili <laughs> and Ernie's club. Ah, uh, well, good for you, Jake. At least you're not blowing this whole thing out of proportion like I did. Mm. It was so silly of me to think you'd run away from home, Ernie. I apologize. Mm. That's okay. I understand. Okay, well, uh, a toast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> to the club. But uh, decided not to have the club anymore. Really? Maybe that's for the best. Yeah, Heather's parents said she should try to find some other activity that she likes. And Travis's dad, he said he couldn't be in another club till he's 18. Sounds about right. So, we've decided to do something much better. Oh, yeah, what'd you come up with? Collecting snakes. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that's really great, aren't you? <laughs> Isn't he neat? Because of his own batteries or something? <laughs> 